we'll deal with it and, and move on. Friends, family, and co-workers are taking time today to remember a Visalia mother of three children. 29-year-old Brittany Ibarra died in a hit-and-run crash last week on Highway 198. And tonight, the search continues for the suspect. Action News South Valley reporter Brian Johnson joins us live from Visalia now with an update on this tragic story. Brian. Well, Warren, Brittany Ibarra came to this church sometimes with her mother. However, today it was where her memorial services were held. Robert and Lisa Ramos didn't want their daughter's memorial service to be too somber. Instead, they wanted laughs, smiles, and stories in hopes that her three children can hang on to them and tell them to their children someday. We're not mad that we have to cremate our daughter. We're not upset about that. We're upset that we have to cremate our grandchildren's mommy. That's the hard part. Last Wednesday night, Brittany Ibarra was on her way to pick up her two daughters in Exeter when she was hit from behind by a 2011 BMW. Ibarra died in the crash, and the driver of the BMW, identified by the California Highway Patrol as Luis Osejo, ran from the scene. Osejo hasn't been caught yet, but the CHP is still searching for him. They say he's known to frequent Visalia in Dinuba, where in 2012 he won $1 million on a lottery ticket. Ibarra's mother says she wants him to understand the impact of the life he took. From his, his, her children and us. I do need to face him. I die. I do too. I do need that. Mm -hmm. So I don't want him to die. Nope. In her 29 years, Ibarra's parents say their daughter lived life to the fullest. She did things her way, always working tough things out on her own. She'll be laid to rest in Hanford this weekend. There's also a candlelight vigil happening tonight for Ibarra. It will be in uh, Tulare, outside Tulare Regional Medical Center, and it starts in just a few minutes. Live in Visalia, Brian Johnson, ABC 30 Action News.